you know, showing you how to face a ribbon, give you all the little tips and tricks. So first thing we're gonna do is try to ward this bush because a lot of the times they'll cheese here. Now, we just wanna space back. Basically force him to waste his first Q. That way, if we do trade, we'll buffer this if he Qs. Like that. Continue stacking my Q up on a wave. And then again, we're gonna just space outside his Q. This way we're forcing him to Q in. So he should look to all in here. Maybe a flash W. Just gonna hold my Q4. Now my goal should be to stop the wave crash, but I don't think it'll be possible. There is Nunu on the other team. So I gotta be a little careful. I'm gonna potentially try to get my eye on him. Not possible. Okay, I see Nunu mid lane. Riven's gonna reset here, which means I should reset as well. I just want my pot. I need one more minion. I'm actually going to be up a little bit of gold, though I, I will be at risk of dying here since Nunu's topside and my jungle is not. I'll just continue playing safe. Get a ward down at some point. I want to get this a little deeper. Okay, so we see Nunu's mid. I have Olaf coming through lane. Good load trade, should be able to dive. He's gonna stop his back. Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. That's fine. Unfortunately, I couldn't get Dark Seal stack, but obviously still really good. Tower defense is still up, so I'm not gonna hit tower. Just gonna go for a proxy real quick, increase my tempo. And I actually see them bot lane, which means I can do this special thing where because he's only level four, and my resources are still fine, I'm actually gonna sit here and try to deny him CS. This is fine. Now, if he walks, I'll just run away. I can only do this because Olaf is topside. See Nunu right there. Ideally, you don't reset on a basic wave like this, um, just because you can't push it as quick, which means your tempo is a lot worse and your reset, you know, you might lose one minion um, or they get a push in. So I still see Nunu bot lane. That's really good. I think Gragas might reset and stop my proxy, but I'm resetting anyways. So if he comes and kills me, it's still fine. I don't want to lose this minion. So reset now, and I'm in a really good position. My Olaf is going to die to this guy. It's unfortunate that my Olaf dies there, but Ribbon has no Ignite. I'm actually going to kill him here. Nice. And I didn't even need to Ignite for that. So just Crash Wave. My HP is really good, so it's unlikely that I die. Okay, so we see Yasuo mid lane. I'm gonna take my reset now. Mm, I'm actually gonna proxy here because I see Nunu go bot lane, which means this is really easy. Riven can't ever actually kill me. She has no ignite. And I love doing this because uh, you just get way better backs off. You just have to be aware of where the enemy team's at. Uh, I'll go for one more wave just because I see everybody on the map. Nunu's here. Okay, so because Nunu died, he has 13 seconds, which means I have to reset or I'll come top and, you know, waste my time. I'm actually going to go Tab Eyes here because the only way that I lose this lane from now on is by getting one shot. Yes, I could go full damage, but I just don't think it's necessary. There's really no reason. I can kill him with my Blast and Wand. Nunu has red buff, which means... Well, he is trolling. Uh, what I was saying, though... Was that Nunu... 
has a red buff, so he's going to come top lane. Unfortunate, I wasn't looking at my map, or I would have seen Yasuo come in. Definitely a mistake by me. Okay, perfect low trade under tower. Half HP, I should be able to look for a kill here. It is a little bit hard without Ignite, but it should be okay. That sucks. Kill E forward, maybe? Okay. I want to get a deep ward here. Push one wave and then rotate for grubs. Oh, wait, they're on grubs. So that was super unfortunate. I didn't see that Olaf had no arm, which means, you know, I was taking a fight on incomplete information. That's entirely my fault. Um, I also wasted my R. I didn't see Yasuo in wall. It's really hard to see in a big fight like that. But uh, yeah, I wasted my R3 because of that. So definitely, definitely my bad. Definitely my bad. So the thing is though, we should be able to dive Riven now because she flashed like that. So yes, fight was really bad, but we might be able to get more on it. So he has no E, which means I can just walk up like this. Really good. Yasuo could be coming top lane. Nope, I see him. I'm gonna try to get five plates here, come on. Nice. Wow. Grubs are really OP. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go bot lane here because Rift is coming off. I have TP, which means I'm probably best to go bot lane, and it's a little bit harder for Corky to rotate. I can look for this guy. I mean he can always army away, so it's hard. I see Nunu. Really nice. I'd be able to get mid tower off that though. Oh, she's dead. She has flash, but I have Tom Kench. I think it should be easy. Very nice. I think I actually died when you won if Tom Kinch wasn't there because I had no R. Pretty hard. I'm surprised. This is really good. Nice. Looking here. He doesn't know I have vision on him. Pumpkin has R. Should be good. Nice. Awesome. And before taking that fight, I was uh, I looked bottom right to actually see if Tomkin had R. So I knew I could play super aggressive there. Oh, close.
Oh wow, I actually almost killed him. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Wait, I sniped the last two people. That's my first Penta this season. Holy, that's massive. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Wait, I sniped the last two people. That's my first Penta this season. Holy, that's massive. <laughs> 